Hello, welcome to this language focus video about interviewing. We've already talked about the grammar of WH questions for interviews. In this video and the next, we will talk about a listening strategy you can use while interviewing in English. We call it making predictions. When you're interviewing someone in English, it's great to prepare a list of good interview questions. But often, the harder part is understanding the answers you get from your interviewee. It may make you nervous to listen and understand these responses in English, but there is a strategy that you can use to prepare for listening and make listening easier. That strategy is making predictions. If you make predictions about what you will hear, it will be easier to listen and understand. What does it mean to make a prediction? It means to make guesses about what you will hear before you do the interview. We actually do this when we are using our first language, even though we probably don't think about it. Whenever you talk with someone in your native language, you probably have some idea of what they will say. Usually, you are not completely surprised by the words they use when they answer your question. You can use this kind of thinking in a foreign language too, but it requires a little more planning. When you prepare your interview questions, you can also prepare lists of key words and phrases that you think you might hear in the answers. If you check these lists before and during the interview, it will probably be easier to understand your interviewee. It's always easier to understand what we hear when we have some idea of what to expect. Let's look at some examples using the interview questions about the tornado. The first question for an eyewitness who saw the tornado what did you see? Let's make some predictions about words and phrases you might hear in the answer. A tornado is a violent storm with powerful winds, so the eyewitness might use these words. Rain, lightning, dark sky, clouds, trees bending, objects flying. Even though the question is about what the eyewitness saw, we can predict that the person might also talk about what she heard. So thunder, wind, loud. It's always easier to understand people when they use familiar words. So if you make yourself familiar with this list of words, it will probably be easier to understand the eyewitness's answer. Let's make predictions about the second question. What were you doing at the time? Let's say that you know the tornado happened at 7 o'clock in the morning. We should think of words and phrases related to people's morning routines. You might hear these words and phrases. Sleeping, getting up, breakfast, coffee, tea, shower, getting ready for work, going to work, helping my children. Again, if you have these words in mind as you are listening, the answer will probably be easier to understand. So in this video, we talked about the listening strategy called making predictions, and looked at two examples from an interview. In the next video, we will continue looking at this example and see the strategy in action.